What's up, riders? Dark in here. There you go. Can you see me? Good morning, riders. It's Chinese New Year in 2019. I've got some pretty cool stuff to show you today. I'm going to be reviewing some of the 2019 Loose Riders collection, uh, which if you haven't checked it out, go and have a look now. It's really... Uh, pretty crazy how much uh, stuff they're offering in 2019 their collections pretty epic so I'm gonna review a few of their things today namely gloves goggles uh, and full riding kit I'm wearing red today because like I said it's Chinese New Year in 2019 and their national color is red so uh, let's get into it you all right sweet quick stop get some water let the bus go through first so we don't rip the door off now <clears throat> I'm illegally parked, so let's get some water real quick. There's the mountain above those buildings. We're going to be climbing that in a minute. Okay. Of course, I send the lot. Bye bye. Now, as you can see, my kit today is pretty red. It's Chinese New Year. Got to get involved. Right, water bought. It's important to have water, especially when you've been riding three days in a row, because you need something to wash down the painkillers with. We're going to be taking the trials motorbikes out today, something a bit different. Normally I'm on the mountain bike for these videos, but uh, it's got two wheels and it's got an engine, so let's get sick. <laughs> G'day, son. You've got a penis on your camera. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> when we stop, I'll... Uh, Give you another look at this hill that we're going to climb up today. It's pretty, uh, pretty epic. Right? Can you see the clouds above those buildings? Behind those clouds is a giant mountain, and we're going to try and get to the top of that mountain today on our bikes. There's our mountain up there in the clouds. Right. So that big old mountain we're going to try and climb today is called Castle Peak. Now, Hong Kong is having the hottest Chinese New Year ever. And in Hong Kong, it's super hot and sticky. So one thing I'm going to review today is the new Loose Riders goggles. And they're advertising that they've got the best anti-fog lens uh, out of any goggle on the market. Now, when I hear of anyone talk about uh, anti-fog lenses, I'm pretty skeptical because in Hong Kong, every lens fogs up. Every lens. There's nothing that doesn't fog up, with one exception. That is the dual layer vented lenses. They are the only lenses that don't fog up. So let's give those a try today. If, let's see if they uh, pass the test of not being a, a lens that's gonna fog up on, on a hot, humid environment. Now, if you're living in somewhere like Whistler or something like that, where it's 14% humidity and, and cold all the time, then you probably don't care. But when you live in a humid, hot area like Hong Kong or Singapore or somewhere like this, then an anti-fog lens is gonna be your friend. So let's check it out. I've got a few other things to uh, show you guys too, so let's get straight into it. Oh. All right, let me show you something cool. Bringing that with you. No, I'm gonna stop over to the GoPro and just start the video with this thing. All right, helmet, Fox Pro Frame, pro tip. Now I've noticed a ton of people mounting their GoPro down here off the chin piece. The best way to do it that I've found and the simplest way to do it that fits all helmets is use the GoPro wrist mount. You can buy it from the GoPro accessory store. The wrist mount is uh, pretty useless for everything except for like rock climbing or something like this. But uh, the wrist mount, you just wrap it around the front of the chin piece and then you can hang the GoPro down here. And that's what gives that nice smooth uh, angle that kind of looks like a chest mount. But uh, it's way better because the camera points where you're looking. So. I think it's a much nicer angle than when it's on the chest because you can only sort of see where the rider's going, not where they're looking. So the, the having it mounted on the chin, it's uh, super smooth and uh, yeah, it gives you a really nice angle. Now I've got a question. If the GoPro chest mount is called a chesty, the wrist mount is called a... Yeah, 
<laughs> there you go, riders. You can officially ask your girlfriend for a wristy for your birthday. GoPro wrist mount. Go get one, put it on the front of your helmet. Uh, you'll check out the footage later. I'm going to swap over the GoPro when we start riding. Phew. Check out my new bike. Very nice. All right, this is the 2019 Sherco FST 300cc Trials. It's a two, uh, it's a two-stroke 300cc engine. Uh, now, Trials bikes generally are for it, it's searching on YouTube. They they ride up just crazy stuff, like huge big ledges, and they have competitions indoor and outdoor. It's a pretty cool sport. One thing that Trials is good for, it's a fundamental sport. It's a bit like sort of BMX racing for all the other sort of stand-up off-road sports and Trials is a fundamental sport for all sorts of motocross, enduro, uh, all that sort of stuff. So uh, if you're umming and ahhing about getting a trials bike, these things are sweet. We're not going to use them for riding up silly stuff. We're going to use them for trail riding because Hong Kong, it's really sort of steep and tight and these bikes are ideal for going trail riding on. And uh, yeah, you're going to see heaps of footage in a minute. We're going to go and try climb that uh, mountain called Castle Peak. We're going to try and get to the top today. It's in the clouds, which is going to be quite interesting but uh, let's check out this bike Sherco 2019 do a little walk around mint radio everything's red today half your bike apart from a bike <laughs> Loose Riders Goggles. ISPO Award Gold Winner 2017 and 2018 voted the world's best anti-fog lens. We'll see about that today. Let's open them up and have a look, see what's in the box. Nice pouch. All right, one thing I'm going to mention that Loose Riders do extremely well is improve their collection every year. Unlike, uh, I kind of see like Troy Lee and those sort of guys, um, and Fox and those guys sort of resting on their laurels and their reputation from their past collections and just sort of changing colors around. Every year, Loose Riders really expand on their collection, but they just add all, look, look at this. Packet of tear-offs, spare lens, stickers in a nice box, the jerseys, they come in a nice uh, reusable zip-up pouch. Um, they're just trying real hard to, to, to to improve on everything that they're doing. It's really nice, so that's the box. Comes with some stickers, tear-offs, spare lens, which is a, yeah, a clear lens. Pouch, it's a soft pouch as well, so you can clean your lenses with it later. Um, the strap on the Loose Riders goggles is an inter interchangeable strap, and you can change it to all different colors. In their range for 2019, they've even got a pattern with cats shooting lasers out of their eyes. Check it out, it's awesome. So this lens that's come in this goggle is a like a smoked tint lens. It's not super dark, which is quite good because when you go in and out of forest, the dark lens is kind of shadow up a bit in the forest. But uh, let's run this lens today. Because it's pretty sunny, there's a bit of cloud around and there's some fog at the top. So I think that the mildly tinted lens is going to be quite good today. And it's a single layer, non-vented. So I'm skeptical if it's going to fog up or not, but uh, one way to find out, isn't it? Now, if it's one thing that I'm a sucker for, it's a good pair of goggles. Normally, I'll be using these lenses. That is a dual layer lens, as you can see. It's got two layers. It's got a top layer and a bottom layer there. And just in between the lens is like a, a bit of high density foam. And then there's venting across the top. And these just don't fog up. So they're my go-to lenses for Hong Kong where it's humid. But let's give the Loose Riders one to try. Uh, loose Riders gloves. I've used these a few times and these already get the seal of approval. The gloves have the velcro strap here but around the wrist here it's also elastic so it fits super good around the wrist so it doesn't slip off your hand check these out sick nice badging on them as well 
Downhill D's just arrived. Yeah. Right, sweet. We swapped over the GoPro. I know, GoPro sucks. Alright, here we go. So, uh, let's crack on. over there, it's called Castle Peak. That's where we're going to try and get to today on the bikes. Right, so if you can hear me, I'm going to use this opportunity to talk a little bit about the loose riders gear that I'm wearing. Now the pants, if you're between sizes, like I am, I'm kind of like a 32 and a fit, get the bigger size, because they're pretty much a perfect fit for their sizing. Now I'm tall and skinny, six foot tall, I think I weigh 70 kg. So the problem I have with motorbike or downhill pants is that they're never long enough. So you, you, like I mean your ankles are always hanging out. And the loose riders ones are actually really good, they're really long. So if you're a skinny dude like me, the extra length is uh, really nice to have. Now the jersey, these are really premium jerseys. They're ultra thin. They're almost see-through, which makes them awesome for riding in, especially in the hot climates like where we ride, because you don't overheat. One thing I'm really enjoying about the pants is that I always carry my phone in my pants pocket. And the big pocket, provision for the phone sits right on your femur that's the big uh, where your quad quadricep is your big quad muscle so it doesn't kink into your pocket you hardly even notice it's there and there's two smaller pockets right by the waistline which is good because I keep my keys and my allen keys inside those pockets and the pocket's really nice and thin. So your Allen keys don't kick sideways either and jam up into your, into your hip. Check it out, we're getting near the top. We're actually uh, just kind of poking our head into the clouds now. That's the normal way straight ahead, but there's a bit of a tricky line here off to the left. I think we'll have a go at today. to the top just still pretty cloudy so there's no view unfortunately because the view is pretty cool from up here but uh, I have to comment that the, uh, the loose riders goggles didn't fog at all which is pretty good because it's you can see we're in the clouds it's pretty humid so uh, that's good and the tinting on the lenses is just right too it's not too dark which which I like so it doesn't matter up being in the clouds or under the trees the tinting's really nice now these are the pockets I was talking about See my Allen key there? It sits sideways, which I like because the pocket's very shallow but wide. Normally if I put an Allen key in this pocket, it'll tip sideways. And then when I either pedal or get in this position, the Allen key pokes you in the, kind of pokes you in the hip there. But this is really good. So I've got the keys in there, Allen key in there. And then my phone, you can see where it sits there. It sits nicely against my leg. So that doesn't so that doesn't sit sideways, which is awesome as well. Because you want your phone like in this position here. If it's sideways, you're either gonna kick it on your bars or you, when you crash you're gonna you know kind of trying to bend it sort of thing. But uh, no, it's, it's really good. So this is a red kit obviously for Chinese New Year today. These jerseys really nice and thin, the air's really blowing through these, and the pants, these are actually the version two pants, the version one. They're a bit like the original Troy Lee Moto pants. 
where the uh, material was really quite stiff. I guess that's for the added protection, but uh, they've, they've kind of refined that now, and these version 2 pants are really sort of uh, nice and uh, comfortable and thin. It's a bit like when you had the old Moto Troy Lee pants and you washed them 300 times and they got all soft and thin and comfortable. These are like this sort of out of the packet, so that's uh, really good too. These are more of a baggy style uh, of, of, a, of a pant. They're not as, as tight a fitting as some of the other new ones like the 100% uh, pant, which I like because you get a bit more room to move underneath them and uh, you can fit your knee pads underneath a bit better too than the, than the skin tight ones. Um, I'm a skinny dude, so it doesn't really matter for me, but uh, yeah, if you've got legs on you, then uh, a little bit of extra room is probably quite nice. Yeah, the gloves, really good. The, uh, the, the Velcro strap combined with the elastic makes them sit really nice, and they don't, they don't bunch up around the palm, which some gloves can do, and the, and the sizing is uh, pretty much spot on. I'm uh, extra large, and if the gloves are a tiny bit too small, my long fingers sort of make them really uncomfortable. They're, they're slightly bigger sizing than the fox glove, which is good. <laughs> which is good, so uh, if you ride a fox glove, I find they're a slightly smaller size, but these are really nice. Take them out. Uh, grippy fingers too. My fingers didn't slip off the levers at all today, which is good. It's quite rare on the trials bike too, when you're coming up some of those climbs, your fingers can slip off quite easy. So yeah, man, these uh, loose riders kids kicking ass. Go get some. Whew. So look, on the way back down now, the clouds are blowing through. You can see where we were, that's like Castle Peak where we were up in the clouds just now. Oh, got a technical issue. I rode through a big vine that got uh, wrapped around my rear wheel. I had to actually cut it out with a knife, but it's cracked the, uh, the brake line hose. So I got no rear brake and somehow, somehow it's got oil on the front brake. So my front brake is either not working or locked up and uh, let me show you the terrain we're riding this shit so I'm having a bit of a nightmare but just trying to nurse it out without stacking it too often <sighs> crack on I guess Whew.